I am the Ronin Bard, and this is Death Road to Canada. Welcome to it. Welcome to... It's, it's a phrase I never thought I'd say. Death Road to Canada. Welcome to um, a new game. I played this, I forgot to click record, so now it's gonna be a crappy recording session, because it always is when I try to do it and I mess it up, and then I can't get, like, this the first time thing back. See? Like, I have to start over right now, because that was a horrible intro. Going Hello, I am the Ronin Vaughn, and this is Death Road to Canada. There's your frickin' intro. Fitzhugh hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies, with nothing to gain from waiting around Florida. Yeah, you definitely don't want to wait around Florida, ever. He decides to brave the Death Road and travel north. Characters can have personality traits that give them more options than a <laughs> To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. A Yalmart, a quiet hotel, or a quiet factory. Well, I'm not going to Yalmart, because I don't even go to Yalmart you know, without the zombie apocalypse. I'm pretty sure if it's gonna start, it's gonna start there. Let's go to the quiet hotel. The group goes through an empty town with no supplies to be found and little zombie activity, wibbity wibbity wibbity. One small hotel seems to have more undead roaming through it than the rest. Your zombie forecast is sparse, sluggish in the late afternoon with a slight trickling of zombie into the evening. Uh, stay tuned for your seven day zombie forecast coming up after the break. Okay, I've got a friend in green hair who's got a weapon, good for him. Ho, 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 a gun, give me a gun. I've got a gun now. And whatever the hell that was. Okay, let's kill some freaking zombies. You, sir. I was gonna get him, Ted. I don't know what his name is, but I was gonna get him. Can I, okay, I can just smash him with the gun because I don't have any bullets. Is that the idea? Okay, um, yeah, the gun is not that effective, I, I'm finding. Uh, give me that. What is this? There's a bullet. I got a bullet. Is it a bullet for this kind of gun? Because I know that there are multiple types of Oh my god! This place is freaking loaded! Okay, I accidentally used the ammo. Don't accidentally use the ammo pawn. I got lots of muns now. Um, I, I was having some trouble earlier with telling the difference between Z and X. All these toilets have gasoline in them, which begs the question, how much Mountain Dew Code Red have you been drinking? Zed to open the door, don't fire the pistol when you don't need to. I actually like this. I started playing it, and I found myself... I'd actually gotten into it. Um, I like roguelikes in general, and this has that roguelike sense, you know, it's sending you into random places and then run around, gather su supplies, um, try and avoid those people. Cut him down! Oh god, there's another one. You, you've got the good weapon. Like, the pistol is a nice long-distance weapon when you need it, but don't destroy the frickin' thing! We need the... We're here for supplies! Now you can destroy it if you want, because it's in my way. Was that a bag of chips? Why does it look like a bag of chips and I pick it up and it looks like something entirely different? Hemorrhoidal seats? You got hemorrhoids? Oh, come on, developers. You put a shower into a zombie game uh, with a curtain around it, and you didn't make it so that when I pulled back the curtain... Ah, zombie! Come on, jump scare me. Jump scare me. Ah! No. I'm just noticing we have 15 maple leaves. Oh! Jesus, hell, get him! I don't want to use my gun. My gun's, you know, I've got the good gun. Is that it? Did we get everything out of here? Have I already been? No, I haven't. Let's go up here. Hello! Um, we need a meal. Okay, I'm guessing that's food, because it was in the oven. That's satisfying. That is satisfying. And two more meals for us, and I'm gonna try and lose my, my friend there. I think I did. I think I did, he's gonna die on his own. Ooh, more more bullets, more foods. I think that's foods. I don't know what it is. Oh, Jesus, this place is, is got a lot, lot in there. Yeah, cut him down. Cut him, I'll take that one out. I'll take those out. Okay, now you, you chop him up, because I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered, there you go. What else we got now, huh? I, I could have swore I saw something was flashing in this room. Okay, it's just it's just like the the grainy effects flicker occasionally. Well, good, because I just wasted like six bullets. Uh, seven bullets on that, for no particular. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. There you go, let's blow him up. There's eight bullets I've wasted now. Do you want to leave this location? Yeah, let's go. I got a date in Canada with my girlfriend who's Canadian and real. This music is freaking infectious! I'm trying to be, like, pissed off, and I can't. 
do, 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 do. Here come the zombies on the road to Canada, everybody, yeah! <laughs> it's not, it's not well suited to the tone of the... After a long drive, the group finds a safe place to camp. The night passes with no incidents, the group eats a decent meal. Negative four on our food? Dude, Fitzhugh's morale increases! All right, because we killed a bunch of things, maybe. Um, the group finds a gas station far off the main road. Someone has looted the store and there's no zombies in sight. The gas pumps are old and don't seem to be functioning. The pumps don't work because the vandals took the handles. All the kids are into the Bob Dylan these days, aren't they? That's where my references come from. Fitzhugh attempts to fix pumps or Trish crawls into the tank. What? What? Trish... Trish go into the tank. Trish volunteers to climb into the tank. She discovers that climbing into the tank is completely exhausting, but not deadly somehow. Trish gets into the tank, but is injured. Um, okay, yeah. Um, getting out is another matter. So she's injured and she's in the tank and she's tired. Trish's morale decreases. She's hurt and her fitness is revealed. And judging by that face, her fitness is that of an angry two-year-old. Oh. Sorry, hon, we lost gas, we wasted our time, I damaged you, but okay, we, we repaired you because we had some med kits. The group reaches a city as it starts to rain. The drizzle seems to rile up the local zombies. Your zombie forecast for tonight is mild, irritated in the afternoon with uh, heavy zombie coverage into the evening. Stay tuned for more information about local zombie politics. Zonald Trump for office. Do we go to the restaurant or the pharmacy? Well, I just got Trish injured. And we got a fair bit of food out of the last place, and we ate all of it. I think I need to go to the pharmacy. They'll have snacks and chips, right? I'll have snacks and chips. Let's go to the pharmacy. What? We arrive in the car. Let's boogie. Let's boogie, baby. Yeah, stay away from my car, though. Oh, where's my gun? Where the hell is my gun? I had a gun and bullets. I'll just punch my way in. Small Green's Drug Store. Let's get in here and get us some, what the hell is that? Oh, that's the med kit. That's what a med kit looks like, kids. Okay, get away from me. You freaking aggressive. Take a corpse to the face. Oh, there's a femur. Grab the femur. All right, I got myself a femur, everybody. Oh, more med kits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Um, another med kit. Um, should I, should I break this up so we can all have femurs? Everybody collect all the femurs you can possibly get. They're gonna be really helpful on the road. The death road. <laughs> dude, that's it? That's it, dude, dude. Dude, come on, dude. Dude, is that it, dude, dude? Yeah, is there's a door open here, can I just, yeah, yeah, no. I don't know what it is that's blocking their house. I think that's probably where the infestation, the outbreak of zombies came from, is that pile of mucus-covered metal shards. Is that what everybody else is seeing? Because that's what I'm seeing. Aye! Get away from me, I've got a femur. We can't have just found that at the pharmacy. Oh, crap. Um, just keep moving, Trish. Keep moving! Yeah, slice them if they get in your way, but otherwise just keep moving. We need to explore, because this sucks, what we found here. Um, that's not, no, okay, that's an exit, no. We, we've got a car. We're gonna exit with the car. Thank you very much. Oh, balls! I shouldn't have stopped the pharmacy. I should have gone to the grocery store. Well, let's go south. Maybe there's- maybe we can still get to the grocery store. You know, it's early. Oh, here's a building that I can get into! Here's a building I can get into! Okay! Yes! This is- this is what we need to do, because otherwise this was a complete waste. Bullets! Bullets! Do I still have a gun? Because I don't know where it went to, but I know I'm- I'm carrying a femur now instead of a pistol. Game, could you introduce me a little bit more to the mechanics of your inventory menu? There was a whole tutorial stage for this. I went through it. Didn't help me understand what the hell's going on with that. Give me more bullets and a spatula. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take them down. All of our enemies will. Okay, I got nine fuel. No, no, stop, stop with the fuel. What are you doing? What are you? Oh no, no, no! I was supposed to get things out of there. There's a food. I didn't mean to. And it's, it's the gas is running out on this thing. Yeah, light them up. Light them up. Yeah, everybody. Oh god, I, I'm on fire. Okay, I'm on fire. This weapon is for suck. I need my spatula back. Wait, what's that? Piece of wood. No, I need my spatula. Okay, I'm a. I'm an artiste. I'm a chef. I thought we got, like, a bunch of gasoline there. That's why I was so excited, was, wow, we got 10 gasoline, but it was a blowtorch. I couldn't figure out how to turn off, and then I lit myself on fire with. 
So, you know, almost as good as collecting the fuel from it. What's in here? More bullets. And some food. Good. We needed the food. We really needed the food. And the med supplies. This is working out. We did the right thing, just in the wrong way. Which is the only way that I ever do anything, really. There's something in here. Med kit? There's more med kits in here than there were in the friggin' pharmacy! Let's go upstairs. Well, it's just to the... Okay, let's not go upstairs. This is kind of a dead end. I'm gonna go over here. I like it. I honestly do like it. I'm acting kind of like... Eh. But I, I actually... <laughs> I like the mechanics of it. I like just s scavenging for things and not knowing what you're gonna find. Oh, my spatula! I broke my spatula on the friggin' toilet! What the hell was in that toilet, man? Did you see the, s the gnats around it? It's my best spatula. I'm gonna need my blowtorch. I'm not gonna need, I'm not using a friggin' blowtorch. Uh, give me, give me the pile of wood. Piece of wood, it's Zed to pick things up. It's. Yeah, it's Z to pick things up, not not X. X is for attack. Did I did I discover everything? Did I explore it all? Here, sir. Uh, I, here's a lovely curio. Have that. Any other places we could go? I don't think we need to go. Let's just run, Trish. Trish, get back in the car. Get back. No, don't beat the car up. Get in the car. Start the car. Um, honk the horn. Start the car. And go. Give her. Were they beating up the car? I like it! I like it! I like roguelikes! Um, so we found 10 food, 5 meds, a bunch of bullets, and we killed 41 zombies! We don't even need to go to Canada! The way we're, you know, working on these zombies, uh, Florida will be... Well, no, that's where they come from. The group sets up camp late on the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone to siphon gas? Absolutely. Trish, you don't have a lot of luck with gas. Fitzhugh, go out and do it. Fitzhugh siphons the gas, but... <sighs> accidentally swallows a bit. Come on, Fitzhugh! I don't think it was an accident. Look at what he's wearing. And that hoodie, and the, um... The purge mask. I think he was trying to huff it and that was the accident. He gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. We got 68 gas though! Oh, that was totally worth um, your morale going from to... Especially since our meal uh, took you back from to... Fitzhugh's getting tired, Fitzhugh's morale increases, he's healed. Do I have to manage like when you sleep and whatnot? Because I hope not, just do your thing. The group loots a dentist office, finding some leftover medical supplies and many teeth. Uh, I mean, edible tubes of toothpaste. Is it like edible pantyhose? <laughs> Goes to the waiting room and grabs a magazine from their sparse selection. Um, glurge for the sensitive soul or questionable science or celebs news? I'm gonna go with questionable science. That seems most interesting to me. Uh, Fitzhugh feels pessimistic about the magazine's prediction of flying hover cars in a few years now that civilization is more or less destroyed. It was still a pretty entertaining magazine. Oh, oh, his attitude decreases. He was really happy. He was... And now he's down to... Damn it. We couldn't keep our banjo face. I like that it's not just throwing me back into things. That things are going on. It's all happening on its own. Got a little bit of that, um, uh... Oregon Trail feel to it. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed due to their lack of civilized healthcare systems. The group finds a new person, Jennifer. She is alone and she wants to join them. Jennifer claims to be a great shot with a gun. She talks about past life as a police officer, not just any cop, a super cop. I don't, I don't know if I trust you, Jen, talking yourself up and I'm a great shot with a gun. You're gonna waste all my bullets. What you're gonna do. Come on, Jen, we'll pick you up. The group accepts Jennifer to the team. Jennifer joins the team. Onward to Canada. The zombies on the road to Canada. The group is about to explore a small house when they notice that a horde is creeping nearby. The group will have to hold their ground for a bit before they can escape. Siege alert, there's no escape. So, should I trust the first sentence or the second one? Try to survive. I don't need to try. Wait, equip. Equip. Um, I have a gun. Equip me with my dolt. My dolt 40. Oh, but Jennifer said she's good with the dolt. Jennifer. Um, carry. Carry. Uh, take. Wield. This. I'm going to give the dolt 45. I'm going to put it in the common inventory. I've figured it out. I've figured it out. Now I want you to wield that. 
okay? And I want you to also carry that, because you said you're a pistol smith. I mean, you didn't say that, but that's what I decided to say. I've got really crap weapons. Trish has got her cleaver, which she's pretty good with. I think we're ready to go for the next hour. Oh, oh, we're not ready to go. I wasn't ready for any of that. Don't, don't use the bullets when you don't have to. I could have swore I said something about. Um, let's, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go this way. Let's go into another room, okay? Because there's things we can gather resources. Well, oh crap. I'm out of, I, I don't have, open it. I found some food for us. That's, that's money. I got, ah, siege, siege, punch, slice, shoot, kill. Yeah, ah, ah, I am taking damage. I am sucking all of the things here. Oh, oh, can we get through here? Doesn't look like we can get through here. I think I should just let them do the, do the work because damn, holy crap. That's a lot of zombies. Thank God we had a gun. Thank God we had a, how, how long, how much longer do we have to do this? Because I don't have any weapons right now, unless I can equip something. Here, throw it at him. Throw the chair at him. Catch that, prick. Oh, did you just shoot my chair? This is the only thing I had. The siege is over. You can now try to escape. Okay, we'll try. There, success. We found one total food and 18 pistol ammo. Spent, you know, nine million, thanks to Trigger Happy Jennifer. I like this game. I actually like it. Uh, it's keeping me entertained. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Me too. You guys let me know if it's okay if I do another Death Road to Canada next time on the Road in Portugal. I am the Road in uh, Not even, not even drunk. I need a beer. Pull it out. Here come the zombies on the road to Canada.